exhibit at the National Underground Freedom Center, Railroad Freedom Center, highlights one of the world's most devastating tragedies, the Holocaust. Unlocking the Gates of Auschwitz commemorates the 70th anniversary of the yeah. liberation of the concentration camp in Poland. Local 12's Perry Shibley talked with a couple of local survivors who are featured in this exhibit. She's live this morning. Perry. Hey, good morning to you, Sheila. You know, I've been in this exhibit a couple times now, and it's just hard to put into words just how powerful it is, just the emotion that it invokes when you go into it. And you can go into it today starting at 11 o'clock this morning. Now, it's been 70 years since the liberation of Auschwitz. Right now, it's living history. Survivors can relate their own personal stories. But before long, those stories will be part of history. Though It will be in the books. And that's why collector Stephen Cassidy and organizers here at the Freedom Center say this exhibit is so important right now. Inside, you'll see rare artifacts, including prisoner uniforms, cans of the actual cyanide that they used in the camp and pictures. You also hear stories from survivors and two of those survivors featured are Bella Uziel and Warner Koppel at 8990. They've chosen to breathe life into the exhibit by sharing their own personal history. And even today, even when I talk today, everything comes back. Like I say, you try to forget. There's no way you can forget. But all, everything comes back, you know, the memories and whatever happened, you know, and sometimes you wonder why, you know, we didn't do anything, you know, but just because of religion. It was, I mean, so many people died for what? Because we were Jewish, that's all. And Bella told me after liberation and once she moved here to Cincinnati with her husband and children, she didn't really ever talk about her own story. She said it took a lot of time and it took her grandchildren learning about the Holocaust in school and then coming to her and asking her about that history. And Bella actually still does have the tattoo on her arm and she shows that in this exhibit. Guys, back to you. I know how moving it was for you yeah. to talk with them, Perry. And you're seeing quite a bit of snow out there right now too downtown. Uh, yeah, a lot of snow coming down right now. I'm hoping it's just a little burst. It's almost <laughs> just in the little spot that we are, but uh, big flakes out here right now. Thank you, Perry. One of the things to keep in mind about the exhibit is that these are among the, the last few yeah. survivors. Bella and Werner were both teenagers during the Holocaust. Most of the babies and children were killed or died when they were in the camp. Yeah, and uh, the, the two that, that uh, Perry talked to uh, are 89 and 90 mm -hmm. years old.